I'd say the most important thing to me right now um, is definitely family. Um, I talk to my family every day um, about baseball, about life, about everything. So um, just making sure they're all good and um, obviously we're all on the same page every day. That's most important to me. I'd say so. Um, I think uh, confidence comes with experience. And now that I'm more experienced in professional baseball and have a, a full season under my belt, um, I think I've uh, kind of adapted and, and kind of understood who I am as a pitcher and as a, as a person. Um, so I think just walking around here and, and going out on the mound, I'm definitely more confident this year. I don't want to say never, but nah, I wouldn't say very often. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like freak, free, uh, freakishly tall or flashy clothing. I'm not really like that. So like, there's not anything that stands out or is glaring about me. But uh, I'm mean, sure if it's someone I know in public, maybe they'll they'll see me. But for the most part, I'm uh, pretty pretty moderate in public. I'd probably say the coronavirus or the election stuff going on. Um, Honestly, I try to not read the news that much because news is largely negative and, uh, and just like, obviously you want to be informed and you want to know what's going on in the world and around you, um, but at the same time, like, I want to fill my, thing, fill my head with positive things instead of everything that's negative, so. I'd say so, I think to be here, um, I think I can speak for all the guys who are here that I think to get to this point, it's, I'd say we have some type of su success in our lives and our careers. Um, I think this is obviously the highest level, if not almost the highest level of baseball. Um, so to be here is obviously a blessing and um, a lot of us have done some pretty cool things in this game and um, really thankful to be in the position that we we're in. Um, I don't know if this will apply to everybody, for, but for me, I'd say just innings pitch. I know that's um, tends to get overlooked at times, but um, I feel like one of my strengths is taking the ball every five, six days, whatever it is, and going out there and pitching as deep as I can. Um, in the past, I've always struggled with um, high pitch counts and um, never really got the chance to pitch past six, seven innings in a game, but last year, I overcame that a little bit um, and was able to, to more consistently pitch deeper into games and obviously the innings racked up and obviously I'd love to throw my best innings in the major leagues, I'm sure everybody would, but um, for me that's, if I can top my innings totals like year by year that just shows to me that I'm healthy and I'm effective and efficient and I'm doing something right. So for me it's just to continue to get better, um, I know that's a bit cliche, but um, for me on a more physical standpoint, I think it's just my breaking ball, my curveball, just continuing to throw that and potentially adding another pitch, um, maybe towards the latter half of the year um, or obviously into next off season as well, but just to, just to prove that I can go out at, um, at a higher level, obviously coming in this year and still get guys out and still be effective. Um, I think that's what I want to prove to myself this year and when the year is over, that's what I, I, want, I want to look back on and be proud of. I'll give you, uh, I was actually thinking about this, I'll give you three. One would be Inception, I think a lot of people are big Inception fans. Two, The Town, it's a Ben Affleck movie, Boston based. And then, uh, I don't know how many people know about my third one, but Place Beyond the Pines. So, I'd highly recommend it for people that haven't watched it, but it's a, it's a good film. Not as mainstream as, I mean, I guess it's mainstream, but MGK, um, I'm a big MGK fan. I just, I like artists who are versatile and who can bring different styles to the table. Um, I feel like a lot of the music nowadays sounds the same or it's very repetitive. So um, an artist who's versatile has my, has my sympathy, so. Well, a year ago at this time, it was my first spring training and I was just obviously getting my feet wet and trying to just understand how the schedule went and the routines went. 
um, on a daily basis. But I'd say, if, looking back, I just say don't sweat the small stuff. Um, something you do here, or if you have a bad outing or a bad bullpen or something like. I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but at the end of the day, you're just you're prepping for the marathon that is the season. Um, so what you do in February and March, obviously, is preparing um, for that long season, but um, I wouldn't focus too much on results right now. Just kind of focus on how you feel um, and how, uh, how everything's going on the baseball field, off the field, communicating with staff, with players, and, and whatnot. So just don't sweat the small stuff. A few years from now, um, ideally, keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll be in Kansas City, hopefully, pitching. Um, I know there's a lot of things that that can happen between now and then, but um, I think anybody would be lying if they say they, they didn't want to be in Kansas City playing playing for the Royals. Um, so I think ideally, that's uh, that's my perfect or ideal future. So. Uh, big plans this coming year. Um, for me personally, not really, at least not that I know of right now. But uh, my cousin, my first cousin, is actually getting married um, right after Christmas. Um, so we're pretty close, and he lives about five minutes from me, and um, so that'll be <laughs> that'll be fun to go to and enjoy uh, right before I come back for next season. And uh, yeah, so I'd say that's. As of now, that's probably the biggest thing going on next uh, for this coming year. Um, obviously, things can pop up here and there, but looking forward to that. Yeah, I'd say just be consistent. Um, another thing that's somewhat cliche, but I think it goes a long way, and it gets tends to get overlooked at times. Um, this game is obviously pretty numbers-based and um, results-based, but. For me, if I know I, I'm preparing well through each week and in between outings, then I know I can go out there and be this be the same guy every outing, you know, like I'm gonna give you you know I'm gonna give you five, six, seven innings, eight innings, whatever in between. Um, and I'm gonna throw strikes and challenge hitters and um, and all that. So I think just for me, just be consistent. Don't try to do too much. Keep everything simple because this game's hard enough as it is. Pitching's hard enough as it is. Um, hitters are better and bigger and stronger every year. So I think for me, just to, to keep things simple and just simple and consistent is kind of the motto.